Hello and welcome to Gotta Love Carpet Pythons and I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Gay Feather and on with the video. Good afternoon. Well, I'm using my camera, not my phone, to do this video. Um, we're having difficulty. Well, no, I'm having difficulty. I just need to hold the camera up. Um, Oscar has desperately been wanting out of his enclosure. So I'm going to open it for him and uh, see See if he'll come on down and say hello and climb onto this, which is really a, a great way to get Oscar out. Um, this is his complete preference um, rather than me actually physically touching him. And that is okay because once he's out enough, I will be physically touching him today um, and holding him while I do this video about where are all the, and I'll use the word hobbyists, when it is about YouTube and doing videos for, for YouTube. Where, where is everybody? I, I see a lot of breeders. I see a lot of, you know, people making it big in the world of having snakes in their life. But, you know, that is not always why people have snakes. We do have them just for the luck of having them and the wanting to share our lives with them and get to know what they're all about and learning things and our snakes learning things and showing us things and I would really love to see more people that are just the hobbyist um, doing some videos and I know that there are people out there that are as such and you know might be a little bit shy of actually doing it and I I completely um, I do understand that it isn't as easy I think as some people might think um, getting in front of a camera um, it can be quite difficult, but even if it's only just, you know, a little two, two minute video showing, you know, your, your snake um, and their name and how long you've had them for and what you love about them and what I know, I know, mister, the problem is I'm going to need two hands guys, so I will be back.
Okay, I am back. I'm just waiting for this little dude to let go of the actual tripod so I can um, put it up. But he's got an extremely good um, grip on it with his um, tail because that's what Oscar does very much so. Likes to have a very good grip as I'm as he's spinning it around with how he is actually moving. He's not very good at not liking hanging on without his tail having something to hang on to. So please be patient with me while I get this going and you'll see what I mean. He does remind me very much of my boy Jesse in terms of um, really needing um, a lot a lot a lot if you can my head's cut off um, uh, uh, and it's still cut off uh, I don't know um, I guess I can move this up a bit there you go that might help yeah it does remind me of Jesse but you know that isn't um, the subject the subject is um, talking about other people that that do have snakes for just the pleasure of of having snakes would you like to to show everybody how beautiful you are without gripping too much onto mum um would be nice hey you're a brilliant little climber that much i know but he really does just like to have a really good grip um with his tail end I guess he's not as bad as Jesse, um, but he certainly has very similar characteristics and I, I do hope that um, Oscar's going to grow out of it. So you see there are things like that as somebody who just keeps snakes for the pleasure of it um, that you can talk about, that you're actually able to talk about. Uh, you don't have to go too far into um, the, the details, like I said. Uh, just, just talk about your snake and what sort of snake is it. And ha like I said, how long, how old, um, what it's eating, how often it's eating male or female all of that that information is is interesting and i would love to see it i would um, enjoy seeing a video um, with somebody just saying hey i wanted to introduce you to my snake um max say <laughs> that's my cat's name um max uh, he is, um, you know, whether it's a bull python, a boa, a corn snake, a carpet python, a, um, an anteresia, um, I, I don't care. Um, I would love to hear about it and what your observations have been, what it was like to get one and was your snake easy going or was it rather defensive is it still rather defensive um, are you having any issues with your snake that maybe if I see the video um, I might be able to to give you some advice on what to do uh, if you like even more so you can send a little clip to my email which I will put in the description of this video um, you know just a little you know one minute two minute clip and just tell me the the basics how long you've had the snake how old that that sort of thing and I'll put it up because I would love people to see other people loving their snakes and showing off their snakes 
So if you would like to do that, please send me a short video and I will be happy to um, do a video showing your snake. That would be wonderful. And if you don't want to verbally speak in the video, um, you know, in the email, let me know how long you've had the snake, where you got the snake, how old it is now, what you've loved about having it. And I, I'm happy to put those words to it. So, you know, I'd like as many people as possible to do that and I will compile a video um, of other people who love their snakes um, and that are not just for, for breeding them and um, making babies from them. Um, that would be such a pleasure for me to do. Um, I would enjoy seeing those videos and I'm sure many others would also enjoy seeing um, those videos as well. So if you could do that for me um, that would be wonderful but if you're confident enough to do it yourself please do it yourself and uh, you know it only takes doing that first video and take it from there you don't have to upload um, every day or you know anything like that um, it could be once a week, once every couple of weeks, but it's more importantly letting people see that there are a lot of people that just have them in the life, in their lives, just to love and take care of them. So I'm going to say goodbye, and as you can see, so long as he's got his tail wrapped. Oscar is a happy, happy, happy little chappy. And yes, he is very much a climber, like the rest of my crew. They all know the area is up there and they all want to just head up there. So he's gonna get some time to, to do that. And hopefully he won't be going too far, would you? Just show people your beautiful, beautiful face. Hey, look, look into the camera and smile, buddy. Problem is, the camera blurs, doesn't it? Take care of yourself. Bye.